Hello, this is Mamos4248 here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the new main features in Adobe Photoshop SE5. Because the first one is Content Aware, and it is useful um removing um, small objects when there's um, lots of, for example, there's lots of grass around it. Okay, so this is too glitchy um, at the moment, and even for a beta, um, in my opinion, it is too glitchy. Okay, so what this does is it just um, clones lots of things around it. Um, quite randomly. Anyway, to use this tool you need to make a selection of the thing that you want to remove. Okay, so the pen tool is probably the best tool for this, but um, I need to make this quickly because I've only got 10 minutes to make this video because of um, the YouTube limit. Okay, so um, once you've made the selection you need to press um, shift and backspace and um, Make sure the content says use content aware and press OK. Then after a few seconds it will remove it. Okay, so um this all works almost perfectly. I mean it works almost perfectly for this. But as you can see it cloned um this over here. And it cloned it to over here. So um for example I've used the uh blur tool, then you can blur things out a bit so it doesn't look like an exact copy of it. Okay, so um, if you do, if it um, glitches like it often does, then if you um, use content aware several times then it might fix the problem. And there's also um, a strength um, tool for the um, blur. Um, I don't know if that was there before, but I haven't noticed it before. Okay, so um, also another uh, really useful feature is um, a puppet warp. So um, if I put this tree back here, uh, which um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do, so I'll just create a new document and paste it. And um, I've got the tree here. Okay, so um, to use this tool. Uh, you need to um, cut the tree out of the picture and um, you can leave it there but um, I'll just pause this video and I'll make a selection of exact selection of the tree okay so I've just made some almost full selection of this tree and um, to use the puppet warp tool first of all um, what you need to do is you need to go to edit and copy merged create a new layer and um, paste it okay so I've got um, part of this tree over here so um, go to the first layer and use content aware to um, remove the old tree and uh, as you can see I'm doing that really fast uh, shift and backspace and fill Okay, so as you can see it's glitched a bit here, so I've got this other um, tree over here. So I um, need to go to Edit and Puppet Warp. And um, I can click to make different places that um, I want to make bendable. Now, what I can do is I can um, move these um, dots and um, I can change the shape of the tree. So uh, sometimes it can glitch a bit and things uh, go a bit too stretched. Um, but in my opinion, this is a really good feature of Adobe Photoshop SE5. And um, we'll just press enter to um, render this. Okay, so the last feature that I'm going to show in this um, video is brushes. Okay, so if I um, click here, then I can go to brush presets and choose from lots of different brush presets. As you can see over here, there's an animation of the brush, and um, I can use this brush over here. But as you can see, um, if I do something really fast, then it goes um, really slow. Okay, so. Um, uh, you can also customize your brush 
um, and also um, I'll change the colour to orange. So um, if I change the thickness, um, I'll put it fairly low and we'll change the length of the brush to um, Okay, so the stiffness um, is also a really useful feature. And you can also change the angle. So you can you can see this brush looks like a real brush and also there's meant to be an animation of the brush over here but um, that's a bit slow for some reason and doesn't really move that much. Okay, so also you can put some things like shape dynamics on. So as you can see, that um, has changed the brush quite a lot. And also you can put textures in the brush. Um, I don't really know how to use that. Uh, but maybe it doesn't work sometimes, or... What it does maybe is just um, put that back black and white. And there's some other things like dual brush here and transfer, and there's also noise. But I think some of these, um, like noise, um, are locked. So I'll just show um, the final brush here, and I'll put a bit of green. So with wet edges, um, it goes um, a bit see-through. And um, also, the f uh, I think they've added a, new, um, so a few new features like Magnetic Lasso Tool. So basically, you just click once where you want to start and it just um, goes to the edge of something. So if I am... Um, Close this document and um, create a new one and paste the same image. Uh, actually, I'll just get um, this image here again. Okay, so um, we can use this magnetic lasso tool um, to select these trees here. Okay, so this tool is really useful, but sometimes it can glitch a bit, which of course um, it'd be very hard to make something perfect. And in my opinion, this tool is extremely useful. Okay, so um, uh, they haven't updated the crop um, tool, but I think uh, the slice there's a new slice tool, and also as you can see the updated all the icons here. The clone stamp tools are still the same but as a spot healing brush tool. So basically what, what it does is it um, guesses where to um, clone from. So as you can see it's a bit like an eraser tool so it can erase this tree with this tool. So uh, this tool is a lot better than um, content aware in my opinion because um, it doesn't really glitch much much. Okay, also um, there's some tools like Red Eye Removal Tool which I think were already there. And um, they've also updated 3D, so if I make um, a new soda can, then I can customise this quite a lot. Um, And um, if I open up 3D tools, then um, I can actually change where the light's coming from. Okay, so I can't remember which tool it is, but I think it's this one. Okay, so as you can see, um, I can change where the light's coming from. Okay, um, anyway, thanks for watching this um, video, please rank, comment this video, um, and subscribe, and check out my other tutorials and videos.